Local experiences for global learnings on disability inclusive WASH. Aya Agabi, Accessible Jordan. The biggest challenge that people with disabilities face in accessing WASH um, units in Jordan, first of all, it's the lack of availability of them. Many spaces don't offer um, accessible uh, WASH facilities for people with disabilities. And then another issue is that when they are available, there is no actual access from the outside to get to them. And so people aren't able to use these WASH facilities and then end up sometimes not being able to go out. And that's something I have to deal with every day where I have to plan my entire schedule for the day based on when I can be able to get back home to be able to use um, an accessible um, WASH facility. George Mumbi, Zambia Agency for Persons with Disabilities. Major challenges that persons with disabilities face is the design and the distance from their home to the water and toilet facilities. Most of these water facilities, they are not user friendly for persons with disabilities. For example, for height, like if you look at the, the issue of boreholes, you find the top, the height, somebody in the water may not access that. Nalule Juko Safia, Human Rights of Women and Girls with Disabilities, Uganda. When you, you go to, especially the slums, where persons with disabilities, you know, because of poverty, they can manage to live in slum areas. Most of the time, the slum areas are swampy places, and the toilets are high. You know, one has to climb the stairs to access the toilets. Atif Sheikh. Special Talent Exchange Program, Pakistan. Still in our country, we don't have uh, in-house toilet facilities, or the drinking water facilities, tap water, running water facilities in rural areas. So the, these challenges which are faced by persons with disabilities are doubled in rural areas. And second, like people with disabilities have a kind of a social stigma which uh, enable the, a social barrier a wall of social barrier to access these facilities for them. And again, I, when we talk about intersectionality, for the women with disabilities, it becomes more complicated to access these facilities in developing countries like Pakistan. People with disabilities are still seen as being sick or dependent and aren't seen as equal members of society. So people don't have any like expectations of them of being able to go to school, work, live a normal life. Um, so people just think that they're meant to stay at home and not do anything. That way of thinking stops people from even thinking of making their spaces accessible and having um, all the facilities that a person with a disability might need. A large number of children with disabilities are out of the school just because they don't have accessible toilet in the school. They don't have toilet facility uh, to go in the school, they don't go to school at all. People with disabilities are died in a very young early age just because not having to access to the toilet. They stop drinking water because they can't ask their siblings or parents or family members to take them to the toilet all the time. For persons with disabilities, it's a big issue. It's a matter of life. What can you do to strengthen inclusion? There are several challenges are available at the policy level and the practical level. So first thing, we need to create the awareness about the importance of accessible water and sanitation. Second thing which is important to do, like big organizations should implement, like whatever policy they implement anywhere in the world, they should, they should consider the perspective of disability within the project. In whatever they are doing, there should be uh, inclusion, consideration in terms of budgeting, in terms of resource allocation around that activity, focusing on persons with disabilities. It should not be an exclusive project for persons with disability, exclusive activity for persons with disability, but whatever they are doing, it should be inclusive for everyone. The organizations of persons with disabilities you know, they are all so passionate about this issue and it will be very important that all people involved in WASH projects make strategic partnerships with these organizations. Whenever someone is trying to make a space that is inclusive or wants to, always consult people with disabilities in the design process because a lot of people have 
good intentions and they think that oh we'll just build a ramp for example uh, but they don't know like what the specific inclination should be like what needs to be added to the ramp so they end up doing it wrong so then it doesn't benefit anyone when they do that so um, consulting people with disabilities in the process will help get the best results when trying to make a space inclusive for everyone. Produced by UNICEF, Swedish International Development Cooperation Agency, WaterAid, Amplify Change, Human Rights of Women and Girls with Disabilities, and the World Bank Group.